Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a recap of the Cowboys getting, or the Saints getting routed, I should say, by the Dallas Cowboys due to the defense of the Dallas Cowboys stepping up and intercepting Tyson Hill. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. Four interceptions on Taysom Hill, who I believe personally, before we go into the game, is getting overpaid. If you want to argue he's not this season, 729. Um, but 12, he goes up to a cap hit of over 12 million up to 2025 just to be a gadget player because he's a block quarterback that can't throw the ball as displayed by tonight. He's just a runner, really, when it comes to behind there at the dish. He can do the short throws and the slant throws a little bit in a couple games you saw, but obviously not consistent enough. Really bad game, albeit, yes, Dallas' defense is a pretty solid defense, but it's a very bad game because it's a very bad closeout. I mean, I think this game could have been different with Jameis Winston, famous Jameis, in there because Dallas wins because their defense played great. I agree with everybody that has that sentiment. 27-17 victory by 10 because their defense played great. Picked off Taysom Hill four times. But I don't believe Jameis Winston makes some of the same mistake Taysom Hill made, particularly throwing three interceptions in the fourth quarter. He had turnover issues. Obviously a 30-for-30 30 30 season you don't want to have. But this season with the Saints, he wasn't having those same issues. And I don't believe he throws those three picks. So it would have been interesting. That's an if situation. But it would have been interesting if, obviously, Famous Jameis was in there. CeeDee Lamb went off for 122 yards. Tony Pollard had a great 58-yard rushing touchdown. So whoever has him in fantasy is jumping for joy. And then Dak threw one pick but did solid again, 26 for 40, 238 yards. Uh, Zeke did, eh, I mean, he's limited because of his injury. So 45 yards, 13 carries. Not going to blame him for that. And then CeeDee Lamb also had one carry for 33 yards and a very impressive carry. So... That was nice to see, which obviously gave him the 122 total yards, which he had 89 of them um, when it came to receiving. Hill, Hill was able to throw two touchdowns. He was able to run for 101 yards, so obviously he's an elite-level runner. We know that already, though. The problem with him is he shouldn't be playing quarterback. He should be your gadget guy, and he should be running the ball from the backfield a little bit more if he's that much of an elite-level runner, as we displayed tonight. But he ain't a passer, and he's not even close to an elite-level passer. He's not even close to a good passer. So you got to find a way to use him. Saints fans I saw on Twitter were calling for Ian Book. Um, I'm not the biggest <clears throat> college football watcher, so I'm not going to sit here and act like I really know anything much about Ian Book. The only thing I can really think I remember from the kid out of Notre Dame was he was just known kind of for being an accurate guy with not much pizzazz beyond that. And also, I just remember from talking to my friends that do know about college football, he wasn't all that overly impressive, just kind of an accuracy guy, systematic guy. So you have to see what he's able to do, but he's obviously a better thrower of the football than... um. Taysom Hill, because he's not an accuracy guy. He's a guy that has an okay arm, but doesn't throw it accurately enough, doesn't throw it with enough precision, and is more of a gadget guy, runner, than a quarterback, and that got on display tonight, and that's the reason why, on top of Dallas' defense playing good, Taysom Hill's bad play might honestly be the biggest reason why Dallas was able to have this great game, put the um, losing streak to five games for the New Orleans Saints, um, and continue to have them fall off a cliff after famous Jameis' injury, which just goes to show how solid he was playing and how good he was integrating himself into the offense, which is why it was a damn shame he got injured. But a great win for the Cowboys, a great win for their defense. Kudos to the Cowboys for taking advantage of the Saint, not activating their passer that could have came in in Ian Book, who stays on the inactive list. That's the part that might not make sense since Trevor Simeon was playing poorly. Um... All in all, numbers-wise, nine touchdowns, three interceptions, that's fine. But um, he just wasn't getting it done in the facets of the game. I remember when I watched Scott Van Pelt or others, he just never got it done when he really needed to get it done in the game, obviously not being able to get the win. But Ian Book, if you want to activate him, we'll see what he can do. He was, I just remember from talking to my friend Jack and others and, and um, that actually watched college football, he wasn't the overly snazzy guy, just an accuracy guy while he was picked in the middle round. But maybe he can do a little bit, little bit better for you and I'd be able to run the offense a little bit better, at least to a Trevor Simeon level. But that obviously wasn't able to get them wins 9-3 and three, uh, ratio with Simeon because he doesn't 
know anything overly impressive. He'll get the touchdowns of a guy that's obviously wide open for him, or he's able to have running backs get him down the field, and then he throws a touchdown. But he's not really a guy that throws people open or anything like that, and I don't know if Ian Book is either. So we'll have to see if they do give him a chance, obviously, because Jameis Winston ain't going to be back. Everybody have a great and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the Thursday night football game that Dallas routed because of their defense and also the struggles continuing of Taysom Hill when it comes to throwing the ball. Elite runner, 100 yards, but not an elite passer, not even close to one, not even a good passer in Taysom Hill is the reason the Saints lose. And the reason the Cowboys win is because of CeeDee Lamb and their defense. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. A special thanks to the fellow fanatics that have me at 171. Let's keep it going and growing. We'll subscribe at the top of the easy-to-use widget. And also subscribe over at Steel Flyers. Peace out, everybody.